Hello everybody, SigRev2 back again with another video for you all. And today, I'm going to be taking a look at Dance Dance Revolution Extreme released in the US for the PlayStation 2 back in what, 2004? It's been over 10 years, it's been almost 20 years? What the fuck is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, yes, it's been a while since I've done one of these. In fact, I tried doing one of these, this particular video game right here, I tried doing that a few months ago. Uh, shit hit the fan. Video wasn't good, I deleted it, but I'm back and I'm going to be doing it all again, and hopefully you guys will be entertained, and I will try to do this faster than I normally do it, because, you know, 30 plus, 40 plus minutes of rambling isn't exactly kosher, but hey, you know what? If you want to spend some time with Sig, with my growing neck beard and enlarging stomach, you know, if you want to hear me ramble on about shit that really only pertains and entertains me, then, you know what, uh, I'm not going to stop you. But I'm going to be trying to go through this as quickly as I can. So what's the point of this if you haven't watched any of the previous videos? Well, on Tear Maker here, this lovely Tear Maker has been brought to you by my good pal Ryan X R G T M X, Also a member of the DDRXX Starlight crew. He made such fantastic songs, step charge graphics. He made the graphics for my Marble song. Thank you very much. Anyway, uh, he made this tier maker here. Um, I adjusted the tiers so that it more fits my zone, my style. And what I'm going to be doing here is going on entirely based on my opinion. And on the songs themselves, I'm going to be placing these songs in, well, tiers. Based on 1 out of 5, if I think the song is just garbage, or 5 out of 5, if I think it's one of the best songs in the game. Possibly the series, possibly, that I've ever heard. Maybe. I'll let you know if that's the case. So, uh, well, uh, why am I doing it this way instead of how I did the song rankings a few years ago? It's because I'm lazy, and this is a lot easier for me to do, and it's more entertaining and engaging. You know, it's like, oh, you get to watch me think in real time and lose my voice, and I don't have any water nearby, so you're going to have to enjoy that. So... Uh, first things first, we got 321 Stars by DJ Simon. This is one of the first arcade songs that I distinctly remember hearing. My very first game was Dance Dance Revolution Ultramix. But uh, my first DDR arcade game was Extreme. And so this is one of the very first songs that introduced me to that whole thing. And it's a damn good tune. Four out of five. Now, 0.59, otherwise known as Tengoku, uh, this was in one of the previous games. I want to say Konamix. Uh, at the current moment in time, I don't remember. I possibly already ranked it in another video, but it's a really, really good tune, really atmospheric, lovely trance techno kind of thing. This one's going to go into uh, brrr, 4 out of 5. Now, I, I try to be a lot more strict with this. I could just throw everything in a 5 and a 5 out of 5 because I do enjoy me a lot of stuff. I, I'm probably a bit too lenient when it comes to things, but at the end of the day, I, don't know, I just try to rationalize it out in my brain in some weird way. The synapses need to, they need to fire off in certain ways to think, okay, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, Ace, DJ Amuro, another DJ Takatoon, 5 out of 5. I don't think I need to explain that one. I think most people really enjoy that one. That one is a damn good tune. Uh, Stupid Barber, I know some people would probably have this a bit lower, but I'm going to put it into 4 out of 5 tier. I do think it's a very fun and enjoyable, herky, jerky, boppy, quirky kind of tune. Absolute, absolutely 5 out of 5. <laughs> Uh, Before You, a classic tune. I'm not too keen on it. I've probably heard it a million times. Uh, not even exaggerating. It, it's just been everywhere. But I'm going to put it in the 3 out of 5. Uh, it is iconic for a reason, but I'm, I'm not in love with it as some people are, unfortunately. Uh, Before You, Before Zai, Beat Mix, however... I don't like that one at all. I think that one is a waste of a challenge-only remix. There are so many from Nonstop Mega Mix songs that they could have used in Max 2, and instead you give... 
me this. Bad Routine has always been one of my favorite 2DX songs, and it's always been one of my favorite DDR songs, but, uh, well, favorite for 4 out of 5, of course. Actually, I'm going to switch them around, but I'm going to leave them 4 out of 5. Uh, believe the share cover is going in a 2 out of 5. Uh, I think that they were better off just trying to secure the rights for the original one, but I can understand why they weren't able to. And plus, they had to do cross-promo for the Karaoke Revolution series that started around this time as well. So, you know, they, they do what they got to do. Uh, Bizarre Love Triangle. Speaking of covers, this one's actually going to go into 5 out of 5 above Absolute. I know, it's amazing. Why, how, Sig, how could you just have awful taste but let me tell you something this cover is always always just it was always so good <laughs> even when i first started playing the game i always gravitated toward this cover and you know it helped introduce me to um just just other new wave and synth acts of the 80s like you know like new monday um I'm not new Monday. I don't know. I'm tired as hell. It's like five, six in the morning. But you, hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Can't Stop Falling in Love Speed Mix is okay. I prefer the original one. Put that above me for you. Diving, fantastic, fantastic song. That one's going above Bizarre Love Triangle. Do Me, Higo Mix, H-I-G-E-O Mix. That one's going to be... Uh, I'm going to put that in the three to five. I'm not too keen on it. Uh, don't clock me. Like, if you ask me on a good day, I would probably put this one high up because it, it's a, it's pretty pretty neat, spunky, kind of, you know, attitude, full song. I'm putting it into two out of five. Above believe, but two out of five. OG Dropout is going to go, it's, it's going to go in a three out of five because the From Nonstop Mega Mix version is better. But I'm going to, you know... It, 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 it's almost four out of five, the original one. But the from nonstop Mega Mix version is significantly better. It's, whew. <clears throat> I'm not gonna go into massive details with every single song on here. Like I said earlier on, I'm trying to keep this kind of concise, kind of, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So you can see my mouse on the screen. Ooh. Drop the bomb. The OG drop the bomb is going in a 3 out of 5. If this were DDR Max and it was the system SF mix, it would be higher up. But it's not. Now Ecstasy is going in a 5 out of 5. B below diving, but 5 out of 5. The remix is going into low tier 4 out of 5. I do enjoy me some Ecstasy, uh, both listening to it and ingesting it. Um, because I'm clearly very into the drug scene firefly uh, eh, two out of five frozen ray this one is going to be low tier four out of five low yeah low tier four out of five i'm gonna switch and then around <clears throat> it's a neat little tune i'm a little bit <laughs> i have a little bit of bad blood with it because of the mission mode in this game and if you've played mission mode you will understand why Frozen Ray just is the worst. Uh, Funk Boogie, it's a neat little tune, neat little console-only song. I'll put it 3 out of 5. Go West, I'm just an absolute sucker for Pet Shop Boys. I think they should have been in more DDR games, and they haven't, and that makes me sad. Higher, uh, higher will go in a 4 out of 5, and the next morning mix, while not substantially different, will go higher up than higher. Uh, highs for you with that one. Oh, it entertains me. It entertains me, and that's the that's about the best thing I can. Do. It, it, it says fuck. It's a song that says fuck in an E-rated game. I mean, how? That's the good shit, right? I feel low four out of five. I'm for real. I, I'm kind of sick of that one. Low tier two out of. <clears throat> I do enjoy me some Slake songs. I think that most of his Beat Mania and 2DX and pop and music work. I, I think that he 
he's really good at what he does, and he was one of my earlier favorite artists when it came to Bimani, but I don't know. I, I'm kind of sick of hearing I'm for real. I'm kind of sick of like the weird, herky, jerky, quirky... Not, I know I complimented one of the earlier songs about that, but, you know, I, I never said I was very consistent. Jane John, that one's a high tier. Four out of five. That one's going to be... I, I, I shouldn't say high tier, but it is there. Now, Jet World. Jet World and I, we go way back. One of the very few songs I think I could possibly play and full combo on stealth. Because Mission Mode basically forces you to do that. Keep on moving. It's okay. I guess. Low 2 out of 5. We're high. Low 3 out of 5. High 2 out of 5. Kick the can <clears throat> on, a, on a more glorious day. I would probably put that higher. It's okay, but it's not one of K Bus Stop's better songs. I think they've had better licenses in the series. And that one's just like... Like, okay, let's... Let's just do a cover of a children's song. Or it's associated with children. I don't, I don't care. I don't know. Kids in America. It's a good song, but it doesn't necessarily work in DDR, I think. I think that it, if anything, like, like if there was a more high-speed cover, like some of the licenses that they have, then it'd be perfectly fine. But it, it's the original one. It, it do slap. And I did say earlier on that this is based on songs themselves, but mm, I don't know. Like, it slap, but how much do? La senorita. I'm trying to learn how to roll my my uh, my R's. Uh, not doing a good job. Not doing a good job learning. Been too busy sleeping. But uh, that one, I do like it. It's a very festive and zesty tune. So, uh, ladies' night, I it exists. Uh, like a virgin, it also exists, but I kind of wish it didn't. Oh, love, love, sugar. This one's an iconic tune. I'm gonna have to put it in a high tier. I'm gonna switch absolute up a bit. Yep. Make it better. It's okay. It, it kind of fulfills the same niche that Before You does. It's like I recognize the level of iconicness, but I also am okay with never hearing it again. Uh, Maximizer has always been one of my favorite tunes in DDR. And, um, yeah, 5 out of 5. And now, Memories, the hidden Burger King unlock. Alright. <laughs> three, three out of five. <laughs> it wasn't worth the wait, basically. Miracle. Eh. There. I gotta scroll down. No. Oh, it's all it's all ruined. Oh god. Oh. I'm trying to double check with OBS here because it's all the layout's weird and I don't wanna fix the window because I, I want to do this as effortlessly as possible as you can tell I didn't even shave for this shit fuck mobo moga modern boy modern girl oh yeah that's going on five out of five I don't even need to explain that one uh, move your feet there now music this one is a very underrated tune and I often forget about its existence but it is pretty darn good. Never Ending Story, one of my favorite licenses in DDR history. In fact, I'm going to have to put it above Ace. Like, I fucking love that cover so much. Oh, my God. On the Jazz, uh, 2 out of 5. It, it gets the job done, but I'm also not hurt at all by it not being in an arcade title in over 10 years. Uh, only You, also another one of my favorite licenses in the game. Uh, I'm going to have to put it above Ace. <laughs> uh, I know some people are probably going to be really pissed off looking at that. They're like, I don't know how you could put songs like that that high. It's my list. 
And there will be a link in the description if you want to make your own tier list and show it off. I, I, my Twitter is Sigrev2. I'm on Discord as well. Y'all know where to find me. Show me your tier list, baby. Come on. I gotta scroll down again. So. I'm gonna... Hold on. Can I, I can adjust this on the fly, correct? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Ooh, modern technology. Paranoia Eternal. Never been one of my favorite Paranoia remixes, but it does... I do like it. I like it enough. But Paranoia Max, significantly more iconic. I do wish that Rebirth was on an American PS2 title. It's not... It's on Universe 3 for whatever reason. Peace out. It exists. Uh, Pink Rose. If you asked me years ago, I would probably put that in a 5 out of 5. But as of right now, it's 4 out of 5. Planet Rock. Uh, I, the more that I think about it, the more I'm not very keen on that particular version of Planet Rock. I do, le I do like Africa Bombada. And I do like Paul Oakenfold, but I don't know. I, I, something about it, it just sounds really cheap, really chintzy. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but I don't know. Uh, Scorching Moon. It, it, it feels a similar niche. I'm going to be saying that term a lot in these videos as a stupid barber. I can understand why people don't really like it that much, but I fuck with it. Uh, Somnambulous, Simply Being Loved, or Simply Being Loved Somnambulous is its title in this game. This one, it's it's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, when BT isn't stealing other people's stuff, he knows how to make a damn good tune. Uh, so in love, this one's going to be a bit of a controversial choosing I almost fucked up saying that word and I probably did anyway I'm putting it in 4 out of 5 I know a lot of I don't want to say a lot but I know some people they don't really like that song again I can understand why but for me it's really nice it's really, I, I, I love the atmosphere that it provides and the, the vocals they just they're good they're good um, that's still in Arcade, right? I've never actually played on anything more recent than a Supernova. So, I, I, I don't... I, I think it's still in. I think, for whatever reason, they still have this song in Arcade. But, like, everything else is gone. Legend of Max, one of the more listenable uh, songs in the Max catalog. Although, I prefer Unlimited. I almost forgot what it was called for a second there. I'm a fake fan. It's in the jacket for this song, and I almost forgot the name of it, but The Legend of Max. Mm, okay. I'm going to switch. Uh, I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Best part about these videos is that I can just operate on the fly, and then there's nothing you can do to stop me. Ooh. The Reflex. Oh, man, that's so good. It's so good. Duran Duran and Pet Shop Boys are two artists that should have definitely been in more DDR games, in my opinion. Or, or for fact, if you want to play like that. I mean, I'm not going to argue with that. There's no scientific proof, but I could... Uh, objective fact, for now, this particular one. Don't, don't question me. The Inferno of the Dragon, I... Uh... Nah. It's one of those songs I can respect more than I enjoy listening to. I've never once actively gone, hmm, you know what? I kind of want to listen to the theme for Enter the Dragon, Notorious B.I.G. mix. What is it? Yeah, Notorious mix. I've never... It, it's one of those I respect it, but I have no need for it. There You'll Be, another one of my absolute favorite licenses in DDR. And this is something that I, like, like I mentioned earlier, like, if... Uh, Kids in America were something like this. 
it would be significantly higher up. But that is currently in three out of five, where there you'll be is in five out of five. And oh my goodness gracious, like this. <laughs> when Bimani does licenses right, they do them right. It's really the best way I can describe it. Like, there's just like a certain, just like a certain knob that they dial to event, like every once in a while, and then they just bring in an absolute slam jammer, like the top three. I know it's going to be a bit disheartening, but I'm pretty sure that uh, there's not going to be an original song in the top three of this video. Spoilers. If that upsets you, then I, I, I apologize, kind of, maybe. OG Trip Machine, it's it, it's good. It's really good. Um, a lot of the remixes of Trip Machine kind of miss the plot of what made the original one so good. Um, unlike Survivor, which is just under as good as Legend of Max, but they're basically uh, Sudo Sugaru, however you want to pronounce it. I've, I've always enjoyed that one, even when I was younger. I, that one particular one was one of the ones I always gravitated more towards. I don't know what drew me to it. I guess it was the whole, oh, it was Naoki. Two Naoki aliases, and they're battling each other out, and it's like two separate people. Whoa! It is silly and novel, and even listening to it now, it, it's a damn good tune, and I love how the, the, the cold, desolate desire vibe you know, it just permeates through what's basically another revenge song. They're just plucking away at the shamisen. And it's just a match made in heaven. I'm I'm running out of space. No. I got to scroll. I'm so sorry. Sugaru, Apple Mix. It's basically the exact same thing as the original one, just with added instrumentation, but I don't like it as much as the original one. <clears throat> I'll put it right next to the next morning mix. Fire. Of E4 Extreme. This one is going to... Where did I put... Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Ugh. I don't know what's going on. I got the sniffles. It's the allergies. Them damn allergies. Also because I've been recording videos non-stop for like about an hour now. And uh, this one's about 20, 25 minutes long. Holy shit. So much for being concise. I'm sorry. Waiting for Tonight is another one of those okay songs. Wild Rush. I'm going to put that bad boy in a 4 out of 5. The nonstop Mega Mix version, I don't really care for it that much. I'll put it in a 3 out of 5. Wonderland UKS gets the job done. That's a 3 out of 5. YMCA. A weird kind of re-recording. I don't actually know what to call it. Like it's, it's clearly Village People. But it's not the original one by the fact that it's not live BPM. So I don't know what it is. <clears throat> but, you know, YMCA, it's aight. So what she's doing around. Now these ones are probably going to be some of my more controversial picks because I'm a very controversial man because a lot of people watch these videos. All ten of you. But your rain's going on a five out of five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's going above some stuff in five out of five. Oh, God, yes. Oh, yes. And last but certainly not least, You're Not Here is also going to go into five out of five. It's going to trail... Actually, it's not going to trail. It's going to go above and beyond your reign ever so slightly. They're right next to each other. It's just like Legend of Max and Fear Machine Survivor. Oh, God. I need a water. <laughs> I did not come prepared. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here in this glorious ultra scroll here, that is my ranking for Dance Dance Revolution Extreme for the PlayStation 2. Do I have a I do. Oh, my God. I came prepared. It's right behind me. Dance Dance Revolution Extreme. 
Extreme, the US version. Oh man. Can you tell? <laughs> I bought it for 25 bucks back in the day. Back in when fucking. What was it? This is, it was GameStop. I think. I don't care. But that's about it. That's entirely my opinion, based entirely on the songs themselves. If you disagree, agree, etc., let me know in the comments below. And like I said earlier on in the video, there will be a link to this awesome tier maker made by Ryan XRGTMX in the description. And as always, thank you for watching. Hope you will have a great day. Don't be a stranger. Hopefully it won't take me another 5,000 fucking years to do a follow-up. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.